Yo everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys the best OBS recording and streaming settings for Apex Legends in 2019. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Before we get into it, please be sure to go down below, click that like button and or that subscribe button, guys. I'm so close to 1800 subs, so I would really appreciate it if you could click that. Without further ado, let's get into today's tutorial. Okay guys, so what you guys want to do is open your settings menu. Once you open your settings menu, guys, you're going to go to uh, General. Um, and when you are on this general tab, it's not showing this. It won't show certain things because I'm currently recording with Streamlabs, but that's perfectly fine. Um, one of the absolute best ways to figure out how to find the best settings, uh, this is only for Twitch. So YouTube, Mixer, if you guys do stream on those services, I'm very sorry you guys won't have this option. But once you click general, it'll be right underneath here. It'll say run auto optimizer. And it'll test your bandwidth, your streaming capabilities, your heart, like everything. It'll test absolutely everything and try and make the best settings possible. Okay, so that is tip number one, but I'm going to go into some more detailed settings. So you guys are going to want to watch this entire video through so you know how to pretty much achieve the best settings through the advanced settings tabs. So first thing you want to do is also make sure that your streaming services are correct you're streaming to twitch youtube you guys have all these options here once you log in though you don't have to copy and paste your stream key don't ever show anyone your stream key ever because then they could stream on your account you never want to have that but once you log in your stream key will automatically be right here next moving on to the output tab you guys do want to drop it from simple to advanced um so we're gonna no, right, start off with streaming so we're just gonna minimize the recording tab and all of these audio tracks um if you're personally gonna ask me i would never say I, I would say never worry about your audio tracks unless you know what you're doing don't mess with them if you have no idea if you look at them and you say what the hell is this just leave it don't even touch it okay um okay so for number one the streaming tab if you want to stream apex legends you have to have somewhat of a decent rig okay like i'm I played on a budgie PC for literally forever and I finally built the rig in my of my dreams and it's lit and it's amazing I promise you'll get there, but I'm gonna try and help you out So like I said with the audio tracks just leave them unless you oh, hello unless you know what you're doing So I just leave it at one Now we're gonna talk about the two different encoders. I'm gonna make an entire video if this video gets a shit ton of likes I promise you I will make a dedicated video on how to choose you know the best settings for each encoder I'm gonna go through them quickly but I'll give really in-depth tutorials about these two encoders so very easy layman's terms if your processor is better stronger faster than your GPU what you're gonna want to do is is click uh, software x264 x264 is your CPU right now I have an i7 8700k which is a perfect streaming CPU okay so I could stream I also have an RTX 2080 so I could also stream on NVENC okay I could stream and record on either one of these two platforms x264 is gonna use your CPU NVENC is gonna use your graphics card if you have an Nvidia graphics card AMD is not is not gonna say NVENC for you it'll say something else I'm not sure what that is but we're gonna go quickly through bitrate and then we're gonna keep moving okay CBR is constant bitrate so this is your bitrate is what you're uploading to Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, etc. So the better your internet, the better your stream will look, the better performance you're gonna get. Okay. So right now I stream on Twitch at 720p at 60 FPS. I have like over a hundred upload speed, which is ridiculous for where I live. But there's no need for me to stream at 1080p because I don't want to stress my rig out. I'd rather have more performance and a little bit less better quality. Okay. So if you want to stream at 720p at 60 FPS and you have over 10 Mbps, what you want to do is is stream at 3500 bitrate. I can get into so much detail about bitrate. Again, I can make an entire separate video about that. If you do, let me know down below in the comment section. But bitrate pretty much is all on your internet speed. So you can go to like myspeedtest.net, I believe it's called. Um, make sure you don't click on any like scary ass links on the internet though. I think it's like speedtest.net. Find out what your upload speed is, then you can go to a calculator and convert it, but I can give you an in-depth tutorial if you want that. Anyway, moving on. Do not go below 2000 bitrate. I don't care how crappy your rig is, nobody will want to watch it because it'll look like Minecraft. The pixels will be so strong, it'll, be, it'll look like doo-doo. I promise, you, nobody's going to want to watch it. The lowest minimum number I suggest is 2500. Anything lower than that, it'll be impossible to watch. Um, no matter how entertaining you are, and that's just the honest truth. But, if you have more internet speed, like I do, go ahead, go through the roof, it doesn't matter. YouTube, there is no cap space. Twitch, there is a uh, cap of 6,000. 
but that's if you're, if you're an affiliate, it's only 6,000. Once you're a partner, you can go through the roof, okay? It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to try and keep this fast so you guys can get out there streaming. Buffer size, default, 2,500. Just leave that. Um, you want to have make sure that's ticked and have 2,500. Keyframe interval, it says seconds. Zero equals auto. If it says zero, change it to two, okay? So CPU usage, I'm going to pretty much blow through this like really fast because it's pretty common sense. The higher this is, the more pixelated your stream is. But the lower you go, the less pixels and more CPU usage. So if you have a placebo, if you click on placebo, 99% or 100% of my CPU is going to be used. Okay, unless you have a government powered million monitor computer with a bunch of billion dollar components in it, it'll it's not going to work. Okay, I've never seen anyone in my life use placebo. Um, I suggest very fast or faster. Um, those are two pretty decent for single streaming rigs. Um, I personally use faster um, when I stream on N2, uh, X264, but now that I have the 2080, I use NVENC. Um, profile, keep on main. Tune, you keep on none. And if you have any special X264 options, put them in. But unless you know what you're doing, which I don't know why you're watching this video, leave that. Don't touch it, okay? So now we're going to go to NVENC. Um, and I hope I don't offend anybody. I'm really just trying to be like broad and lamest and try and help anybody understand this. So I'm sorry. Um, CBR, like I said, constant bit rate, the same thing. It's pretty much copy paste for a lot of these things. You know, keyframes is the same. 3500 bit rate, CBR. Okay. Don't touch rescale output for uh, for X264 or NVENC. We will get to that in a minute. So what you want to do is you want to come down here. Uh, your preset. I put on high quality. You can pretty much pick whatever you want, but understand it's going to impact your performance. In OBS, the rule is the lower you go, the more impact it's going to have on your computer. So the better parts you have, the more low you can go. Okay. Um, but on this one, it's kind of different. I mean, you can have Blu-ray quality. You can have high performance. So if you have high performance, obviously it's not going to look as good, but your PC will be able to play the game better. So there's pros and cons to everything. I just do high quality. Profile I keep on main. Level I keep on auto. And use two-pass encoding. You want to make sure that's ticked. Because two-pass encoding is if you're passing one encoding to the stream service such as twitch it's not going to look as good but if you're passing two it's kind of like a mirror like sending two things of your stream at once to twitch hope that makes sense if not i'm sorry b frames um you want to keep this to two um and yeah that's pretty much it i i think i did a pretty good job if you guys do have any questions i read every single comment and i'm gonna give everybody a heart i'll pin the funniest comment um so i'll, I'll respond to any and all comments uh, so now we're going to move down to the recording tab. You only have one option as standard. You want to set it to your videos files, your desktop, whatever the hell you want to do it. Fine. It doesn't matter. But make sure you have a, a good recording path. Um, you could really use anything. Um, I've never heard of this one in my life. So I'm sure you could use all these. I know you could use SLV, MP4, MOV, MKV, TS. I know those are all usable files. I select MP4 because it's the most user-friendly. Windows loves it. It's great. It's fine. Audio track, like I said, keep on one. Recording, X264. Um, you know, pretty much like everything else. Uh, don't touch rescale output. Um, you can kind of... The best way to do this is to kind of like copy your stream. I mean, you can get away with streaming a little more. Because you're kind of just like uploading. You're not really like... It's not really as heavy as recording. So like, for example, my bit rate, I cut down by 1,000. So now I'm at 2,500, not 3,500. Um... Uh, but like I said, I use NVENC. I don't use X264. Um, but you kind of like whatever your NVENC settings are for streaming, kind of copy it. But you got to tweak it. I can't really help you that much with recording because it's a little bit more specific to each and every single rig. Uh, but if, like I said, if you guys do have any questions, leave them down below. Um, so, but like I said, a lot of it's like copy paste. You could see here, placebo, very slow. All that stuff you kind of want to copy it off your stream and, and kind of just tinker with things it takes a while sometimes it could take a while um and then like i said there's all these audio tracks that we collapse that you absolutely don't want to touch now moving on to video this is another crucial point remember when i said don't touch rescale output that's what we're going to do here so your base canvas is right here this this mumbo jumbo right here this is your base canvas 1920 by 1080 if you have a 1440p monitor it's gonna say 1440p here you don't want to mess with this so if it's 1920 by 1080 make sure it's 1920 by 1080 as your base resolution if your monitor is 1440p make sure this is 1440p okay now when you're streaming and you're recording 720p i, I promise you 
720p and 1080p are not that big of a difference when it comes to streaming and recording. Now, 1080p and 480p, yes, okay? 720p at 60 FPS is gonna be fine. Nobody's, I, I've never seen a comment where it's like, oh, this is in 720p, I'm gonna unsubs, that's malarkey. Just leave it. Nobody's gonna bother you, okay? I promise. And if they do, it's not to me, okay? Set it to 1280 by 720. Leave it. I promise. It'll be fine. It'll be great. Okay. You want to make sure you can do it on 60 FPS. If you can't do 60 FPS, do 720 by 10. Uh, I'm sorry. 720 by 1080. Bot, dude. <laughs> 1280 by 720 at 30 FPS. That is great. Okay. So now that I said that, we're going to move on to the hotkeys. You can set your hotkeys um, pretty much however you want. As you can see, I have like my stream starting as my home key. Um, page up and page down. Run through my scenes. Um, I mean, this is all pretty much self-explanatory. You guys can figure it out. You guys are smart boys. All right, so process priority here. This is important. Like I said, the rule of thumb with Streamlabs, the higher it is, um, it's kind of gonna kind of like, you know, take more usage. This is flipped. Okay, for whatever reason, this one's flipped. So this says high, above normal, normal, below normal, idle. So your process priority. This is pretty much how it's gonna process your game. So if you're streaming Apex with a million things going on, a million explosions, rock particles, boom explosion, a million, uh, I think they're called Gibbs, floating around in the air where it's taking up so much of your CPU or your GPU to process that and spit it out on the Streamlabs, to spit it out to Twitch, to relay to, to, to all these other people. Dude, fuck that. <laughs> Okay, just keep it on normal. There's no reason to have this higher or lower But like I said, if you are on a budget rig, you can put it down to lower I mean, I, I've never seen somebody use idle, but like I said, you kind of got to tinker with it A lot of this is playing with it your video here. I really don't suggest touching color for hello I don't suggest uh, touching color format um, But your YUV color space I do suggest putting to 709 and your YUV color range. I suggest putting to full I'm gonna wrap this up here if you guys do have any more questions please feel free to go ahead and ask them down in the comments I'll be replying to you every single comment no it, it, there is no dumb question I promise you I will get back to you and if I can't help you I will point you in the direction of someone who can I'm your boy Versary I'm gonna catch you in the next stream you guys can follow my twitch down link in the description sub to this channel as well for more tutorials on OBS apex content stuff like that thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this I really do appreciate it much love for me to you. I'll catch you guys in the next stream or in the next video. Peace out.